Praise the Lord, saints of God. This is Reverend Carnett coming with your devotional word today from CPC, Christian Pentecostal Church. Um, and we, uh, let's pray. Father, in the precious name of Jesus, Lord, I just thank you today, Lord, for who you are, for you being God and there is none other, Lord God. I thank you for your word, your word being truthful, oh God. And Lord, I just thank you for the anointing. Thank you, Lord, for your spirit and the anointing. Help me, Holy Ghost. Oh, that, you, that the Father be glorified through his word. Lord, in Jesus' name I pray and for your glory. Amen and amen, amen. I'm coming from coming to you today from CPC, Christian Pentecostal Church, where my pastor is Pastor John Carlos. And, um, and the word today I have for you is coming out of the book of, of Acts chapter 10. And my... My subject is, God has no respect of a person. God has no respect of a person. And I'm coming from uh, talking about Cornelius today out of chapter 10. And I'm just going to read you a few verses from the beginning, from uh, 1 through 4. And then I'm going to go drop down a little bit. But right now I'm going to go do 1 through 4. It's talking about Cornelius today. There was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius, a centurion of the band called the, the Italian band, a devout man and one that feared God with all of his house. Cornelius feared God with all of his house, which gave much alms to the people and prayed to God always. See, Cornelius? He saw in a, in a vision evidently about the ninth hour of the day, an angel of God coming into him and saying unto him, Cornelius, Cornelius. And when he looked on him, he was afraid and said, What is it, Lord? And he said unto him, Thy prayers and thy arms are come up for a memorial before me. See, Cornelius was a man that loved God. He feared God. He, he wasn't saved then, but he, he had a love for God. He had a love for God, and he, he gave alms to the people. See, we think we all got to be, uh, 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 everybody got to be a Christian before God talked to you or say something to you. But God calls you out of darkness. You know, he'll he has send you some help. Uh, uh, here is Cornelius. He said he was a, 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 a centurion of the band called a, a Italian band. See, Cornelius was a, was, was a Gentile, you know. He was an uncircumcised Gentile, you know, and, he, and, 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 and he still he loved the Lord. He loved the Lord, and he was uh, uh, gave alms to the people, you know, and, and he was doing good things. And, and guess what he said? He saw in a vision evident about the ninth hour of the day, an angel of God coming into him. Wow. And, and said unto him, Cornelius, and when he looked on him, he was afraid, and he said, What is it, Lord? And he said unto him, The prayers thine arms are come up for a memorial before me. Hmm. God heard his prayers like a memorial before him. God heard Cornelius' prayer. Isn't that wonderful? And guess what? You know, Cornelius had that vision, but guess what? Guess who God sent to help him? Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord God, and these people did not get along. These people, uh, 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 this was the... Uh, they didn't, uh, they didn't uh, associate with each other. And God sent Peter. You know, you know the Jew and the Gentiles, they did not mingle together. But here go God. 
That's what I'm saying. He has no respect of a person. God sent Peter to help. You know Peter. You know Peter's like a kid. You know that um, that uh, 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 every time you tell him something, he would have. Sometimes he had to correct you. <laughs> oh God. Let's read Peter from the, from the 10th verse to the 15. And became, this is what happened to Peter, how God met Peter. God had to work with Peter before Peter could go there. Because if God had said, Peter, you're going to go there, watch Peter, watch Peter. And he said, and he became very hungry and would have eaten. This is in chapter 10. And would have eaten, but while they made ready, he fell into a trance. God had to work on Peter because he knew Peter wasn't going to go. Peter was going to, you know, Peter had a mouth. He was not going to go and to them because the Gentiles and the Jews did not get along. I mean, not, not that they didn't get along. They just didn't mingle together, you know, because. And uh, here go Peter, you know, Lord, you know. I can see Peter now saying, Lord, you know, we just, we don't, we, we just not mingle together. And so heaven opened up in a certain vessel, descending unto him as it had been a great sheep, knitted at the four corners and let down to the earth. God, when God sent you to do something, you know, that place that's where you don't want to go, uh, send you down there to talk to some, maybe it's, maybe somebody, an addict, a drug addict, or whatever, you might think that's okay, I can't go there. I don't want to witness to that person, uh, whatever. But God, sometimes God had to work on us, really work on us, because God has no respect of a person. He loves that person just as much as he loves you. Uh, sometimes we think that because we are Christian, that God, you know, uh, we can pick and choose who we want to witness to. But that's not so. God has no respect of a person. God loves us all. He'll send you there to a person. You, you may not uh, a different cause, to a different place where you came from. You know, some people don't want to come into the black community. And the black community don't want to come into the white community. But God has no respectable person, you know. And, 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 and look what the Lord had to do for Peter. Had a great sheet knit in the four corners and let down to the earth. Where, wherein were all mountains of four-footed four beasts of the earth and wild beasts and creeping things and fowl of the air. Wow. You know, the Jews, they only didn't eat that kind of stuff. And there came a voice to him, rise, Peter, kill and eat. You know, Peter, Peter got something to say about this here. You know, Peter, Peter got a mouth. But Peter said, not so, Lord, for I have never eaten anything that is common or unclean. And the voice spoke, spake unto him again, second time. What God has cleansed that call, what God has cleansed that calls not that thy common. In other words, what God has cleansed, don't, don't say it's not, call it not common. It's cleansed. It's done. It's done. And so Peter, so, uh, so God had to work on Peter and then work with him in order for him to go down there to where Cornelius was. And it says over here, you know. And after a while, God got to working and showing Peter that he has no respect of a person. Peter, you going? Uh, I want you. I need you to go over to Cornelius' house, and, and and to talk to him, and to you know bring him a word of the Lord because you know what I want to save Cornelius. You see, so Cornelius knew the Lord, and he he had, he did great things, but he wasn't saved yet. So he, didn't, he, he wasn't saved yet. So God needed a servant of God. Peter was a servant of God. He was one of those. Uh, Peter, John, and James, the Diana brothers, you know, with, with God, the, the, the three inner ones. Peter, Peter, Peter said, okay, you know, so Peter obeyed and went over to Cornelius' house to sit down and to talk to Cornelius. Before he went there, Cornelius sent, sent some, some of his workers over there to tell Peter what the Lord had shown him. And so Peter came over to the Cornelius' house, you know, and while he was coming, Cornelius got together, got everybody, got his family, everybody together. All the Everybody, neighbors, everybody got them together and waiting for the word of God to come through Peter. Lord have mercy. You know, when somebody out there waiting for somebody to bring them the word, you know, uh, somebody out there right now waiting for us to stop by and bring them the word, you know. 
Hallelujah. You ask God to, to lead us and to guide us, you know, to a person just like that, that's waiting to hear from the Lord. My God, you know, and, 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 and it's not that Peter wanted to go there and Peter wanted to be there, you know, because they didn't, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't come in together. They didn't uh, 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 associate with each other, you know, but God has no respect of a person who he want to send you to. Lord, and Peter came in, he began to open up the word to Cornelius and his family and everybody that was there. And then Peter opened his mouth and said of a truth. I perceive that God, God is no respectable person, but in every nation, he that feareth their him work, work is righteousness in every nation. God said, and that fears him, he work is righteousness is acceptable with him. It's acceptable with him. God has no respect of a person. He loves everybody. He said in every nation, everybody that fears him, he loves them and he will help them. God loves us all because we know that God sent his only begotten son who died for us all. Not no, nobody in particular, but for us all, all. And he used Peter that day. Isn't that great? To go to Cornelia and to tell him about who Jesus was. Because Peter already experienced who Jesus was, you know. He already had been ministering. He was at his friend's house, Simon. But God used him to go over to Cornelius' house and to speak to him like he would use you or me to speak to somebody. May the Lord bless you real good. Remember that God has no respect of a person when you get ready to talk to somebody. God loved that person as much as he loved you and everybody. No matter what nation they're from, no matter who they are, what color they are, or what condition they're in, God loves us all. He hates sin. But he loves us all. God bless. Love you. Reverend Cornette. Bye.